guys so i did say that i wanted to throw it back to old school youtube videos so i'm gonna start doing favorites videos again um so this is my january favorites i've actually been loving so many things i'm gonna jump straight into it i didn't actually do a what i got for christmas video but the majority of things in here are things that i got for christmas and um, because i've just been loving all of those things through january and i feel like it's been a month where i've really loved so many things from like tv shows to books uh, to beauty products to clothes that i felt like i just really adore these things so I can't wait to tell you about them. So I'm going to start with skincare products first. They're both from Lizelle. This one is an oldie but just a real favourite of mine. This is the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. This is the Christmas edition from this year which is the pink pepper and mint um, what do you call it, scent. Um, I do like this one, the pink pepper and mint but it's not quite as nice as like the previous year's Christmas scents because they've done like rose some years and like I don't know some of their Christmas scents have been really nice and this one I don't know it's not quite as what I thought it would be but I still absolutely love it and I love Lizelle uh, their cleanser polish I go through so many different cleansers I kind of vary from like this the Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel I really like the Emma Hardy cleansing balm but this I just come back to every time it's the cheapest out of the ones that I love and I just adore it it's just so easy it doesn't irritate my eyes it just gets everything off it doesn't leave like a oily film which I do find that the um Oh my god, what's it called? I just literally said it. What's it called? The cleansing balm that I just was talking about, the gel. I can't remember what I just, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, <laughs> that one really irritates my eyes, this one doesn't at all. Um, this, I actually didn't ask for Christmas, um, but I love presents like that. Uh, but it was a little Lizelle gift set because um, I finally know I absolutely love Lizelle. And this came in, it's a skin repair light moisturiser for combination and oily skin. Um, so I just started using this in the morning, it just as like my morning moisturiser before my makeup. And I've been really loving it. Um, it says it's like a light moisturiser, but I find that it really moisturises my face. I've been struggling with some eczema on like my forehead this month. Oops. Alexa. Stop. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I've been struggling with a bit of eczema on my forehead. Um, it's been really, really bothering me. Um, so I feel like I need a lot of moisturiser, kind of in the morning and the evening. And even though this says light, it's just been super moisturising. I've just been really loving it. And I don't think I would have normally picked this up, but really, really enjoying this. Um, and then a couple of just makeup things. So the first thing is this lipstick. I've had this for ages. This was not a Christmas present. This is uh, Chanel's Rude Coco Shine in Boy, number 54. Um, um, so it's this kind of like I don't know like nudie shade uh, but I absolutely have been loving this I've had this for ages I actually got it from Bista um, their like cosmetics outlet that they have there um, and I remember getting it because Fleur de Force she used to say it was her favourite lipstick um, and she used to wear it all the time and I'm not joking I hated it when I first got it it was too nude for me and recently I've just been loving it um, it's a really easy throw on shade I should be wearing it now but I'm not um, it's a really easy throw on shade I love it when I'm at work I, it's really moisturising well so i love just chucking it on i just love it it's a real like handbag staple for me at the moment another thing is this sponge this is like a beauty blender like replica um sponge um i got this in one of my glossy box recently i haven't been used i don't really use a beauty blender on like a day-to-day -day basis i'm like a brush girl i find beauty blender is a bit of effort you have to go and wet it and then i don't know you have to wash it more frequently i don't like how dirty it gets obviously brushes do get dirty but i don't know i just find beauty blender is more of an effort than brushes um however my skin was quite dry as i was saying about the eczema and using brushes was kind of just like making it even dry and like my foundations that normally work weren't working for me um so i tried some of them with this and oh my god i feel like i have rediscovered the beauty blender they just made such a difference like there was foundations that i've hated for ages there's one in particular it's the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation and i've had that like i think i got it for my birthday like last year and I literally have hated it. Um, I haven't found it works once for me because it's so dry. And when I used it with this, it was perfect. I loved it all day long. So I don't know, I've rediscovered the Beauty Blender. I'm not using it every single day, but when I use a certain foundations, this definitely works better with it. And I need to definitely like understand which foundations it works better with and kind of, I don't know, use it a little bit more. And then an actual foundation that I have been loving, not using the Beauty Blender, is this one. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Nude Foundation. 
I don't even know if you can get this anymore. I've had this in my collection for ages. I'm gonna be doing a massive like declutter of my life. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna do like a makeup declutter, a skincare declutter, a general like kitchen cupboards declutter, clothes, everything. I need to do like a massive declutter. Uh, but currently I just don't have the time. I'm busy like every weekend. So when I have a free weekend, um, I'm gonna do that and film it. But my makeup especially, I've got foundations that I've had for like going on like five years which that is just disgusting i don't use those foundations but this i've definitely had for a few years still works fine hasn't broken me out so smells fine in my eyes that's all good i'm not going to throw things away that are working fine just because the packaging tells me i have to anyway i pulled this out and as i was going through like my foundations trying them with the beauty blender and thinking oh should i try some different foundations that i've got in my cupboard i just thought to try this i have had this foundation on my face right now i know it doesn't look fantastic but i have had this on since about 20 to 7 this morning and it is now 20 to 8 so i've had it on for over 12 hours um, i think that's right i've had it on for over 12 hours and it still looks so good um and i feel like i could touch this up and like go out or whatever and i just really really been enjoying it so would definitely recommend i need to stop rambling because i've got so many things to show you i've got all my things on this little tray it's actually a box lid um everything on this tray is actually pink um so the next thing a bit of a random one electric toothbrush this is a bit messy i should have probably cleaned it um <laughs> oops i got this for christmas me and bradley got a little jewel set uh, there was a pink and a black one in this set with like one charger my dad got it for us for christmas it has changed my toothbrushing life i have been absolutely loving using an electric toothbrush um it's not normally this dirty i feel slightly embarrassed but i'm not going to end this video to just go and go and clean the toothbrush i just felt like my teeth are so clean when i use this um it times it for two minutes i think it is um so you may make sure that you brush your teeth for two minutes because i definitely wasn't brushing them long long enough before i just like it made such a difference to my life so thought i'd give this one a little shout out even though it's a little bit random um another thing that i've been really loving um another christmas present this is the wet brush and i think it's called the styler brush um it looks like this i love wet brushes anyway um the original wet brush is just my absolute favorite beats a tangle teaser any day if you've not tried a wet brush you need to they're so so nice so this is the styler brush i got this for christmas from my mum we saw it in tk max together and she got it me so it has like these lines through it like this um which is so you, your hair dries quicker when you're blow drying it because obviously like if you are drying it kind of like this and you've got the hair dryer behind obviously what will go through the back of the hair does that make any sense uh, but anyway it dries it quicker i just find because this is quite like really light and flimsy in comparison to the normal wet brush i find it really easy to blow dry my hair with um i don't know it dries it quicker definitely because you know, the heat can get through and like the blow dry can get through like these gaps i don't know i've just been really really loving it when i dry my hair um and when i also straighten my hair as well i think my hair is not tangly at that point a normal wet brush is definitely much better for like tangles i wouldn't necessarily use this and sit here and like brush my hair on a daily basis i just use it for styling and blow drying and it's really made a difference i don't really know the entire reason why but i've just really been enjoying it i found that my hair's like quite shiny and stuff as well when using this i just really like it um so that's that another thing as well is um we've been loving these for a while but i feel like i haven't done the favorites video so i thought i'd just give it a little shout out so these are the bath and body works moisturizing body washes obviously we can't get them very easily in the uk but when we went to new york we got a few of these and we did like a big bath and body works like buy of like candles and um shower gels and all that kind of stuff and we love a good shower gel me and bradley are a bit of shower gel snobs we kind of go like lush shower gels bath and body works and body shop is kind of what we stick with you know we're not going for like molten brown but we do like a good shower gel these are so good so this is the first time i've tried these so they're the moisturizing body wash and they've got shea butter and cocoa butter in them you use them and your skin comes out of the shower feeling really moisturized i have really dry skin i have eczema um so like my legs get really like irritated and itchy quite easily um so but literally this makes them feel so moisturized i just love it we haven't actually opened this one yet i got one that wasn't wet and horrible from the bath <laughs> Uh, this is the champagne toast one uh, but we've used up the cherry one i can't remember what it's called and we're currently using into the night and this is our last one sadly uh, because we just got some normal shower gels as well which now i'm very much regretting that and wish we would just would have got all of the moisturizing ones if you're going to america anytime soon pick some of those up 
very quick mention and random purchase is this. This is a Jeffree Star mirror. I have really, really, really been enjoying using this. Um, I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel quite fab in the morning when I'm like sat trying to do my makeup. Um, trying to do my makeup. When I am doing my makeup. I just have been really enjoying it. Um, I wanted the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star one, but obviously that one. So quickly, and my mum kindly got me this one for Christmas. And I've just been really enjoying using it. Um, yeah. Just a little mention, I do think they're really expensive, they're like £25. So they were all the beauty things that I wanted to mention, I thought like there was actually quite a few. But I thought I'd show you a couple of fashion favourites. So the first one is this Zara coat that I got for Christmas, this is so difficult for me to show you. But it is the normal Zara aviator coat that kind of everyone and their nan has. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, I wanted one for Christmas, um, I actually asked for one from Warehouse, um, and then the Warehouse one sold out, it was a bit of a whole like drama with this coat and my dad trying to get this coat for Christmas, he really wanted to pick this to get at me even though I said I'd get it after Christmas instead, so anyway he got me the one from Zara, I absolutely love it, I wear it all the time, it's so easy to wear, it goes with absolutely everything, you can dress it up, dress it down, I've worn it on like country park walks with Bradley at the weekend, and I've also worn it to like really formal things, I've worn it to like afternoon tea, I just absolutely love it, um, and yeah I know loads of people have this coat and I walk down the street and see so many people wearing it, but I honestly love it and it was such a good like purchase from my dad for me for Christmas, um, but yeah really really loving that. Two other things that just deserve a little quick mention, first one is this dress, I also got this for Christmas, Bradley got it me, this is from Miss Selfridge and I absolutely adore it. It is so comfortable and it is such an easy outfit for me. I have just been really, really enjoying it. If I could wear it every day, I would. There's also a smock dress I've been loving from Nuda, but it's currently in the wash, so I cannot show you it. Um, but it looks like this. It's got this little like eyelash lace detail. It's got this kind of like spotty detail on it. It's just a slip dress. It comes down. I think it's got a little split somewhere. Oh yeah, it's got a little split down here in the leg and I just wear this with a white polar neck underneath. Uh, sometimes pop a little belt around the middle, sometimes I don't. Heel boots and tights, perfect everyday at work outfit. Um, for me, I go casual for work. Um, so I just love it, I've been really, really enjoying it. And then another thing that I have been absolutely adoring and just wear in practically every day in January are these boots. These are from New Look. Um, I work for New Look, if you don't know, I work in their PR team. Um, these are painted, like, I guess they're kind of like cowboy style boots. These are so comfortable. They're the most comfy heel boot I have. Um, and I have a lot of heeled boots. Um, I absolutely love these. Honestly, if you want to go and try a very comfortable heeled boot on, you need to try these. I don't know what it is about them, but they are just so comfy. I gravitate towards them every single day. Uh, and when I put something else on, I regret not wearing these. Uh, but yeah, I just adore them. They're so comfy. So the next thing that deserves a little mention is my new iPad that Bradley bought me for Christmas. Um, he wasn't supposed to buy this. He went over our budget. Um, However, I have been absolutely loving it. This is the iPad 10.2, I think, and it comes with the pencil. It doesn't come with the pencil. Bradley got me the pencil, but it works with the pencil. Um, I'm not going to get it out. It's really difficult to get out of this case, but I've just been loving this. I basically really want to learn how to draw um, on Procreate. Not to necessarily do something amazing and make a new career out of it or anything, but it's just something I really want to do. I feel like I don't really have skills in that area and I would really like to, so this is something that's allowed me to do that. Um, I can now edit on this, and I can like take it with me on like lunch breaks at work and edit YouTube videos, which means that I'm able to upload more frequently. Um, and I've also just been loving it to kind of have around the house and just be able to take out really easily. I have just been loving this. Um, and I have a iPad mini, I've had that for probably like six, years um, and kind of it was on its way out I just I wasn't really using it anymore um, and yeah it just it kind of needed a refresh and I really wanted one with the pencil basically so Bradley got me this for Christmas and I have been absolutely adoring using it in January. So now I'm just on to a book and some TV mentions. So the books that I wanted to mention, um, I love reading, if you don't know this about me, I absolutely adore it. Um, and the book that I want to mention, I don't think I'm going to get the cover up on here. I don't know how you get the cover up on, how do you do it? Yes, I did it. Um, so, This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay. 
this is amazing you need to read this book if you haven't read this book it is so good it's not normally the type of thing i read i read very very fluffy girly books I don't like something too heavy, I like things about romance and comedy and I just, I, I don't read very intelligent books, I'm very happy to admit that. I read them on the to and from work and before I go to bed, I don't want something heavy um, about the war or I don't know, I just don't read anything heavy. This however, I wouldn't say this is heavy, um, you know at times it is, but it is a kind of a light hearted read. It's so funny, it makes you cry, it makes you laugh, it's just so well written and it is just so good and it really opens your eyes to the NHS as well. Obviously everybody knows how hard, like how much of a hard time the NHS is having at the moment but I felt like this book just really shows it from a doctor's point of view. It is just so good. So if you haven't read it already, definitely go and read it. Um, me and my friends are now actually going to his show in London. I don't know if it's just like a reading of the book. I think it might be like an acting, I don't really know what it is if I'm completely honest. But my friend literally texted yesterday and was like, oh my god he's doing a like show. It's like a, this is going to her show. Um, and it ends on the 10th of February so we were like right okay we're gonna go so we're gonna have the 10th of February got tickets for 15 pounds um so yeah very excited for that so I'll let you know how that is but this book is amazing so definitely read it if you haven't already um if you want me to speak more about books at any point then let me know but I do read very fluffy books um I would like to maybe get into something that's a bit more intelligent um but then I do really enjoy my romance novels <laughs> Oh my god, I've just forgotten something. I have a list on my phone that I've been writing throughout the month of like things I want to mention. I've forgotten because they're on my feet. My new Ugg slippers. I got these for Christmas as well. These I have been adoring. So I got the pink ones, my dad got me them. Um, and they are, I think, are they sheepskin? I don't actually really know what they are. But the fur is so lovely. Um, I know some people have opinions on Uggs, so please keep your opinions to yourself. Um, but yeah, the fur is so lovely. I have been wearing these every single day. From in the morning, the minute I wake up, I put them on. And the, well, actually, it's after my shower, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and the minute I get in um, from work, I put them on my feet. And the minute I go to bed, I obviously take them off. I wear them so much, right? I know I've only had them for like a month, but still, how was Christmas only a month ago? Uh, but still, the fur is just so, it hasn't like worn down loads. It's still really fluffy and nice on my feet. And I've just, I love them absolutely love them i like this style as well being able to just slot my feet into them i wouldn't want ones that are like boots i'm like that with slippers anywhere i like like slide off slide on slippers but just been adoring them and when they go i will buy new ones i think they're 100 percent worth the money um so yeah been loving those and then just three tv shows i want to mention sex education season two so good i think it was even better than season one I watched season one probably like, it was kind of when it came out last year, maybe like in March by the time I watched it. Really enjoyed it. I then re-watched season one with Bradley, um, kind of in like December time uh, for when season two came out and it was just so good. If you haven't seen it already, really recommend it. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely hilarious. I really, really enjoyed it and like kind of wanted to watch the next episode straight after the like the one that just finished, which I didn't feel like was season one. So really enjoyed it. The next one I want to mention is You season two. Obviously, You in general as a series is amazing, but obviously season two came out on Boxing Day. Uh, we've watched it. We actually stayed up until like half one in the morning to finish it, not on Boxing Day, like on a random day in January. That is not what me and Bradley do. We always go to bed at like a decent time. We're not boring people at all. All, but we normally would just wait till the next day it was a friday night we could have watched it on the saturday morning um and we like a good amount of sleep i'm not joking we were literally like no the next one the next one the next one until we finished it because it was just so so gripping and so good it's very creepy um i don't think like i I probably would be able to watch it by myself. I prefer watching it with Bradley. Um, I'm in the house by myself right now and it's making me a bit creeped out. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really good series. It, I'm sure you probably have watched all of these, but... Um, oh, I forgot another one as well. Right, okay, the next one that I've got written on here is Grace and Frankie season six, I think we're on. Are we on season eight? I don't really know what it is. The season that's just been released on Grace and Frankie. I just love Grace and Frankie with all my heart. Me and Bradley were actually on the last episode, which I did not realise. So I went to play it last night and I was like, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this last episode. It is the last episode ever. It's the last season of Grace and Frankie. And I just, 
I adore Grace and Frankie. It's such a nice, easy watching TV show. I think it's just really enjoyable. Um, so yeah, if you've never watched that before, I'd really recommend it. I've got so many of my friends into it and I really enjoy it. And the last one that I want to mention, oh my God, what's it called? Why is my brain not working? It's called River something. River, let me look, I'm on the Netflix app. Virgin River. It's called Virgin River. Virgin River on Netflix, really good, really easy watching TV show, girly, just very, like has a bit of a, a storyline to it that's like a bit darker, but you don't really see that part. Um, and it's just a really nice watch. Got some nice, really likeable characters in it. Only one season on Netflix, really hoping they do a season two. Um, recommended it to a few of my friends. My friend Sophie recommended it to me, um, and I recommended it to you. Um, it's really good, nice easy watch. Anyway, I'm not gonna go. I don't know how all of my videos end up so long. I just like talking. In real life, on videos, I just love chatting. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've taken something away from it, whether it's my book or like, I don't know, any of these products that you want to try out. Um, I'll try and leave everything linked down below. Please give me a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Please click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I've got some really exciting videos coming over the next couple of weeks slash months. I've actually got a notepad here where I've got loads of ideas written down on literally the first page, <laughs> flashing page, which I feel like actually relates to my life and I feel like are easy videos for me to be able to film and fit into my life as I talked about in a recent weekly vlog um, I really don't want to um, stop doing YouTube but I want to make it fit and work for me which is why I'm filming this January favourite video which is a type of video I would like to watch anyway I'm going to stop rambling but thank you very much for watching please give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it leave me a comment down below and I'll speak to you next time bye